What's up? What's poppin? And what's Gucci? Exactly. What's up? What's poppin? What's Gucci? Oh my god, what's on my face? Um, so today we are back with another YouTube video by what? Popular Demand! And we are going to be reacting to Muhammad and Danielle on 90 Day Fiance. And these are my favorite people of all time. Like, they deserve more attention than Rose and Big Ed. Because when I tell you, these people are the most toxic mother I've ever met in my life. And I'm really, I was like really nervous about doing this video because it's like some videos I react to do good, like hella good, and then some videos I react to do okay. And I really want this one to do hella good because if it is hella good, I will keep reacting to them because these motherfuckers right here are fucking insane, okay? But let's get into this video. Muhammad just found out about some past due bills after our cell phones just got shut off. Before we start, if y'all don't know what anything about this is, Muhammad and Danielle are like the Ronnie and like Sammy of this whole, no, not even Ronnie and Sammy, more like just, I don't even know. So Muhammad comes from this other country, right? And he's Muslim. And Danielle is just this crazy, <laughs> not, just weird Caucasian lady. You feel me? So basically, Muhammad, they're now moving in together. Muhammad's back in the United States of America. And Danielle is literally broke and doesn't tell him, doesn't tell him any about her money problems or nothing like that. And all of a sudden the electricity shuts off and all this stuff shuts off. And he's like, what is going on? And she's gonna have this weird, just, uh. And she's got two kids. Three. Huh. He knows how bad my financial problems are. I'm afraid he'll want to leave to go back to Tunisia. He should leave yo. He should go back to Tunisia because this is the most. Oh my God! When I tell y'all, I was so pissed this whole season when they this aired because what y'all what y'all gonna see is this false advertising. This woman tried to be a 15 year old girl. She's gonna try to be a 15 year old girl. You need to explain me everything so I can understand. Look at her. Yeah, look at her. Look at her. Look how she's looking. Look how she's acting towards him. This is just so weird. Like you were 60 years old and you over here smushed face into this man's face, arched back, shoulders to your chin, and just laying up here looking uncomfortable and finna do this whole pouting. A whole pouting. Cause I was scared. <laughs> that bitch, oh my god. This girl did not just whisper. She said, because I was scared. Like, it was this, how, you are 60 years old. What are you scared about? This man is literally like 30 years old. What are you scared about? About him going back to Tunisia? You should have been told him you were broke. So he could have figured out and prepared wisely before coming here. Y'all be dating people, making this lie, acting like y'all have all this money in the world, and then y'all, we come to these trailer homes. Y'all come to these trailer homes with dents all in the wall, ain't got no AC, got a big ass fan now in the, the back. the correct term is manufactured home now. Manufactured home, same thing. And ain't no shame in staying in a trailer home. Ain't no shame in it. I have friends staying in trailer homes. I think they're nice you places. with a box fan? Yeah, she got a box fan. Oh. <laughs> so like, <laughs> so ain't no shame in it. But don't be sitting here lying saying you got Beyonce money when you really sitting on Carrie Hilson money. You know, don't don't sit and lie about it. Why? Cause I was scared that you would wouldn't it's want me. About scared that, that you wouldn't want me if you knew you the did. truth. This is so cringy. Her face cringe. is so close. To his face, I know that breath stink. He's not even looking towards her face. He's looking in a direction so it looks straight, but it's not really straight because he doesn't want to smell that hot ogre breath. You make me lose everything there. I lost my job, I lost my family, my friends, everything. It's like, so, and the thing is, everybody, especially during that reunion, everybody was trying to come from Muhammad like he was in the wrong, when she literally manipulated him and did all this messed up to him. Like, what the? This woman lied to him, disrespected his religion when he said he couldn't kiss her out in public. And it was just like, oh my God, it's just. You make me lose everything there. I lost my job, I lost my family, my friends, everything. 
are we gonna be able to figure all this out before your visa? I'm worried sometimes that we're not gonna be able to figure it out. Oh, uh, girl, we, you can't even figure out your own. What makes you think he wanna figure out with you? Like, I'll be very upset if I left my whole family in America to come to whatever, to the Europeans. I would leave, I would leave. I'm not gonna stay here with y'all. I'm not gonna, with y'all, y'all got me tough. Like, this is the mother book, to be real with you. Cause it's just like, you crying for what? Like, he lost more than you. If you, and she kept bringing up she lost her job. This is before the coronavirus even happened. Yo, job, you could have got a new job, you could have got so many other things, but what you're doing is jacking around, laying down, eating fish chips, and like you could have been got another job. Change a lot of things. If you will keep in doing like, if you will keep doing like this, sure I will leave. How you will pay, pay all your bills, how you will pay your car. So basically saying, if you don't stop lying to me and get your finances right, I will leave, right? This girl is like, I don't know if she has some trauma to where she thinks she's a little kid again, but it's just like her whole mannerism is a 15-year-old girl. Her whole mental state is a whole 15-year-old girl. The way she moves is a 15-year-old girl. The way the, the thing she lies about is a 15-year-old This girl is stuck in 15. Back to 15. 17 again. 15 again. And if you keep doing like this, you will lose my trust. But I'm afraid. Why? If we don't figure this out, that you're gonna leave. Afraid of what? 